This is how I remade Only Up. Do this, this is it, right? I apparently yes, I'm going baby! Yes, 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 come on. So it seems Only Up has taken the world by a storm. And honestly, I get it. It's an interesting game. The graphics are average. The controls are average. Honestly, the game is average. But the main game idea is the, really the core mechanic that carries the game. It's really like the icing and cherry on the cake. It has a simple character controller where you can hop from platform to platform. And as you get higher, you explore different zones. It's really like a long death run. But I'm not paying for a game that I can create in a day or two. So let's make an only up inspired game. Now the first thing to do is creating the player. I'm using a low poly style because you can create characters and game assets significantly quicker using this style. The character takes a lot of inspiration from the original game player with the striped jumper and blue shorts and blue and white cap. And did you know the smiley face on the boy's back is actually an NFT? But let's just ignore that. I'm pretty sure no one noticed anyway. Now the only substantial amount of coding in the entire game was the player controller. There are four types of movements, jumping, walking, mantle, and sprint. I started by setting up the player view using Cinemachine's free look camera, so the camera will rotate around the player, this being the third person view, and I used Cinemachine's collision detection to eliminate the camera clipping into walls and objects. Next, I started by coding the running and jumping. I initially coded the player to look in whichever direction he is running. But after some playtesting, I realized it felt kind of clunky, so I changed it so the player now looks where the camera is facing, and I set up a blend tree so he can walk left, right, forward, and back. This is similar to how Fortnite does it. The third movement was mantling. For this game, I found the best way to mantle was using Raycast. First, I shoot a ray down from above and in front of the player, and if it hits a surface that is within a certain range, the player will leap and climb over that ledge. And for animations, yeah, I'm using Mixamo again because I really don't have time to animate for this project. Additionally, I also added ledge forgiveness, which is a feature that allows players to still jump after leaving a ledge for a small amount of time. A lot of games now actually have this feature and you just don't realize. Now to start the more exciting work, creating the maps. For the original game, you go through different areas that are similar to zones that follow a certain theme. Now in my game I'll be ripping out assets from my past projects and creating zones out of them. So moreover, as you explore the map and you get higher, you'll be travelling through some of my past projects. Now for my first zone it was Unizart. In contrast to my other projects, this project is a 3D platformer made for mobile. I made this way back in 2021. The game has a unique main character, he's half unicorn, half lizard, um, with enemies that I took from other games, so it's a bit of a mashup of a game. Nevertheless, I did create 8 levels for this game, so I have plenty of assets to create my first zone. Zone 2 is based on a video we did remaking CSGO in 7 days. Basically everything you need to know is in the name of that video, but me and my brother set out to recreate Counter Strike in 7 days. We created all the assets by hand, the map, the player, the guns, everything. And we used Steam peer to peer networking to make it an actual multiplayer project. As you go through the only up game, there's many points you reach where you'll be launched via a cannon or ride a dragon to the next zone. So admittedly, I took inspiration from this because I wanted to add something to give the gameplay some diversity. So I took the CSGO bomb and enlarged it. And after some coding, particle effects and animation, the bomb works how you probably think. Once you jump on the bomb, you are seated down and after 3 seconds the bomb explodes and you're launched into the air to the next zone. Now for the next zone it was made out of sci-fi assets from my Space Knight projects, which I was working on for a rather long time. It was a third person multiplayer shooter, but then I binned the idea because I couldn't envision the end result. So yeah, you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Here you can really see how similar the zone is to the Space Knight project when you pit them side by side. It has the same orange grass with bluish plants with the sci-fi houses and other assets. 
For the final zone, I took a little inspiration from the original Only Up game. First, I set up clouds as well as creating these steps that randomly change color for the player to hop between. Additionally, I took a spaceman asset from one of my other projects and got him into Mixima. I then found a waving animation I liked and downloaded it. I then placed him into Unity on top of a spaceship and I created some cloudy particle effects to add to the scene. Finishing up the game, I set up a timer with some end of game UI. Additionally, I also added a main menu and some pause UI. While I was playing through the map, I took note of a couple things. Number one, it was very frustrating when gaps between obstacles were not large enough. The game felt very tedious. I think this was because you weren't being challenged trying to time your jumps by getting close enough to the edge as possible before jumping. I also spent time increasing and decreasing the size of platforms to make things more or less challenging. Number two was it felt very dull when you're just running through certain flat parts of the map, like up the train tracks or along these bricks. So I fixed this by adding a sprint. Just adding this one game mechanic felt like it gave the game a little more depth, just one more mechanic to land and time, and it also speeds up any dull parts of the zones. Even though this is a 24 hour project, I still obviously have to add audio, so I started with the basics by adding animation events to create footsteps, jumping and landing sounds. I then added music to each of the different zones. And lastly I added audio for the ticking of the bomb and the explosion sound. Now if you want to play the game, the game is on itch for free, but you can always donate if you want to see more videos and games like these. Link is in the description below. So let me know your high scores in the comments below, I'm intrigued to know if anyone finds any crazy bugs and completes it in 3 seconds. Thanks for watching guys, peace.